Hello and welcome back to another video. Okay, so in this video we're going to be following on from the osteology presentation that Paul gave. And we're going to actually look now at the actual specimen here. So here we have a lateral um, or sagittal section of the lower limb, literally splitting the limb right down the centre into two equal halves. And what we're going to do, we're going to start with looking at the bones and then we'll progress through the soft tissue structures as we move on to the different chapters in this entry level anatomy series. Okay, so first off we're going to be looking at the bones that make up the actual digit. The digit is everything from the fetlock down, uh, similar to our hands, our fingers, or actually our digits, and it's the same for the horse. So, if we just jump straight through, straight into it, here we have the distal extremity of the third metacarpal bone, also known as our cannon bone. Um, and that comes down and forms part of the fetlock joint. This distal extremity, or this condyle that it forms here, this sort of rounded end, articulates with the articular surface here of the proximal phalanx. The proximal phalanx being a long bone, having a medullary cavity that you can see here, and having this cancellous or trabecular bone here with this honeycomb structure, and this cortical bone here, uh, also known as uh, with its primary functional unit being an ostium, really compact, dense bone. And you can see how, if that was made up of a, com if that was totally made up of that cortical bone, how it would be incredibly hard, but also incredibly heavy. So that having that thin outer cortical bone and that inner sort of l more lightweight cancellous sort of honeycomb structured bone, you can see how bones can be incredibly strong, but also incredibly light. As we progress down here, you can see we've got the articulation down here with the middle phalanx. The middle phalanx, as we come down, then articulates with the distal phalanx, also known as our pedal bone or coffin bone. This is actually a complex joint. We'll talk about joints later in the series, but it also articulates with the navicular bone here. Navicular bone, also known as the distal sesamoid bone. And it forms a fulcrum for the passage of the deep digital flexor tendon. That'll be covered in the tendon chapter. Okay, so we just missed off two, which you can't actually see on the sagittal section because there are two bones that make up the, uh, two more additional bones that make up the fetlock joint, and they are our proximal sesamoid bones. The proximal sesamoid bones um, are, as I said, there's two of them, and because this is a sagittal section, it's actually cut right through the middle of those two bones, so we can't actually see those two bones, but they would be there articulating with the distal extremity of the metacarpal, third metacarpal, and the proximal extremity of the proximal phalanx. Okay, so they're the bones of the digit. Check back in the next chapter and we will go over the ligaments that we can see in this section. I hope you found this video interesting. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye now.